Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all well. I wanted to come on today and share with you my very first DT project for Crafty Me Shop. It's a large lace shabby collar. And I will show you show you how I did it. Um, it's not complicated at all. I know it might look that way, but it was actually very easy to do. Um, I just think it looks so pretty. So, what I used for the base was one of her um, Battenberg collars. And I started out sewing these three laces here on, which I'll show them to you. This is the first one, and I cut the roses off of it. So pretty. And then I use this one here. This is one of her CMS laces. Gorgeous. And this one here, I actually, I done used what I scrunched up, but what I did was I put it under the sewing machine and just, you know, did the ruffle, made the ruffle with it. And it made it look so shabby. I just love how it, it made that look. So then I added another lace on top, which is this one here. Another CMS lace. Just love her CMS laces. They're so pretty. And I put some tulle underneath that. And then these appliques here, I just cut down a little bit. I cut this part off and put one on both sides. And I added a little piece. Where did I put it? I added the bottom piece of this one. I just cut this part off, removed the beads here, and put this underneath so it would come down more in a V shape. So this one here. I put this one on top of it because I, th I thought it looked so pretty on top of it. Because you know, you can kind of, you can see right through this. So, it just looks so pretty behind it. So I added that. I added, I didn't glue this on first, this, this part here, because I wanted to put this on before I glued this down. So this here is her beaded, beautiful beaded trim, and this is all I have left of it. Um, what I did was I made it into two layers, so there would be more beads hanging down. And the roses that I cut off of the other one, I added them here. And then I used this flower here. I put that on top I just took off the back of it and I added my flowers and it was just as simple as that I mean it was it took me probably three hours I mean I know that that sounds like a long time to some people but um, I'm a very slow crafter I mean I, I try to make it look perfect I know it's not perfect but <laughs> That's just how I am. I just, you know, I always have to look over it a hundred times before I sew or glue. And, um, but yeah, I think it turned out so pretty and I hope that it inspires you. I mean, I know no one would want to really wear something like this, but it just looks so pretty on your dress, one of your dress forms. If you have one, I mean, I've already made one in the past. It's nothing like this one, but they just look so pretty on your dress forms but anyway i just really hope that you guys like it and get inspired and make one for yourselves so thank you for joining me 
Y'all have a good day. Bye.